Hello, this is my wife Ning with Ning's Creations. What are you gonna create for us today? Well, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful flowery napkin holder out of plastic spoons. Plastic spoons, that's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, well, what are the uh, materials that we need? Uh, we need glow gun, scissors, candles, and uh, rubber fingertips. Okay, and those are for uh, the folks that want to get a little bit more protection on their fingers as they're creating this uh, because it uh, can get a, it's a little bit hot. So. All right. Now we have to melt the spoons. Okay. Got to get that plastic to be kind of melty and pliable. Okay, so you're pulling on that and kind of twisting it. Mm, yeah. Is that right? Yes. And it just, just immediately starts to look like a, a real life looking flower petal. Let's try another one. All right, and then while well, it's still hot, twist. kind of pull on it, twist yeah. it. So that you can get a nice curl. Yeah, that's kind of a nice curl to it. Yeah, and then you have to cut the spoon the handles. Okay, so you trim off most of the handle. Alright, what's next? You're gonna get two spoons and glue them together. Alright, and as I understand it, you take the part of the spoon, you know that the part where you would scoop the soup out let's say, and just kind of get it to face each other. And as you're constructing this, have uh, these spoons face, the, the spoon petals face the inside of the flower as you're building it from inside to outward. Okay, it looks good. So here's the sample of that. All right, so there's a, a sample that's, that's a solidified right there. We got two. This, that makes and then step one of the construction. And we got three petals. There we have three. And then four. And then this one by one, there's four. It's starting to look more and more like a flower. And then you just keep going until it's about the size that you want. Just like this. Just add it. Just keep going and you can make it bigger or, or you, bigger than that or you don't have to. Yeah. Kind of the size and that you want. And incidentally, we had submitted uh, uh, kind of a tutorial on home talk, but we didn't do video. We just did some photographs and then negated some tutorial information uh, and text to that. And it ended up really getting super popular. It, it had something like 210,000 views, which really surprised us. It was really amazing. Um, but a lot of folks wanted us to do an actual video. And so we're finally getting around to it. And here's a couple of, uh, finished products right here. And so what is the final step once you've put together the uh, flower part of it? Um, you need something to attach it. There we go. You need something to attach it to the uh, napkin holder so right going, there. I'm and going so, to make the Okay, let's see the base. demonstration of that. And so you can use a fork or a spoon for this. Is that correct? Yes. All right, but uh, I see you don't have to cut off the handle for this, but you're going to kind of melt it melt and it bend down. it into triangle shape. Okay. And then one in the next, in the middle. Hold it. Get it nice and flexible in that one spot. Okay, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's got a little triangle, like Ning had said. And so the napkin is going to go through that. Yeah, like this. Excellent. So that's the part that's going to hold the napkin. Yeah. And now she just has to attach it to the bottom of the flower. And I believe that's the final step. And then you have to attach to the flower that you made. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. There's the final step. And by the way, um, 
you know, you know these plastic spoons, you can get them at a dollar store. Walmart. Uh, yeah, Walmart. Um, but if they don't have the color you want, uh, she tells me that you can take, like, say, some white spoons and make your flower and then spray paint. Make Whatever, just color. find the spray paint of the color that you want that's going to match your uh, tablecloth or, or your uh, dining room. And just uh, once you construct it, you can, you can spray paint it. Now I'm going to attach the, the vase. Very good. And then once that solidifies, she's got the uh, done product like you see there and there and, and right there as well. And so um, that concludes our video. And, um, well, be sure and uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you have a great day. Thank you.